professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. We got to talk about it, man. Mama D. Mama D. But why 304 culture is normal? So I brought up Mama D because she's doing some type of sex scene at 59 years old on, on, on some network, right? And for a woman that's pretty much about to be 60, right? To do something like that is ridiculous, but it's normalized now. Like it's normal, this behavior is normal. And a lot of you ladies don't want to talk about how bad your sexual empowerment or sexual freedom or whatever y'all want to say that's embracing y'all sexuality has really created a, 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 a detrimental culture. You get, you get ladies packed in a room, you know, just twerking all over the place on each other. Like, to me, you know, modern day female sexuality is just basically the gateway drug to, to lesbianism. Because a lot of the times they sex, you know, y'all, 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 304 culture is I'm going to be hypersexual and so men can pay, but I'm going to be hypersexual around women and it's going to be for free so it's like okay so what you're saying is in some ways what y'all giving off is y'all only having sex with men because it because y'all can get stuff but y'all really want to have sex with women because that's where your heart is right and the problem with that is this and excuse the ashy hands i've been working out this morning whatever the problem with that is this this spills over into your parenting. So now, you know, you like sex so much that, that you don't mind exposing your kids to your, your hypersexuality. You don't mind exposing your kids to the thought that, you know, if it's a guy, he got to do something for this. You don't mind exposing your kids to saying, you know, uh, mama got a boyfriend January, mama got a, a girlfriend in June. You get what I'm saying? You know, you don't have a problem with... Uh, going out on multiple dates with multiple different dudes and bringing them home and your kids hearing what's going on in your bedroom. And this culture has been going on for a long time to the point that the, the, the women, the mama D's, and, and, and I don't know which thumbnail I'm going to use, but even the women that might, in, in the trapping, uh, can't trapping paint thumbnail, y'all don't mind being seen. You know, they used to have that, that phrase, I want a lady in the, in the, in the streets and a freak in the sheets, but now people are, are, a freak online and, and supposed to be a freak in the sheets, but you but now you're never a lady anywhere. You get what I'm saying? So now it's it's normalized. And the problem with it is, I know some of y'all think, you know, men, we think about sex and we think sex all the time and everything is about sex. The older I get, the more I realize, man, that what's really happening is there are more three oh there are far more 304s than there are ladies. And it's to the point where the 304s are saying, since we're the majority, we are what ladies are because we're the majority. And guys are like, okay, well, if that's the case, then stop asking for a lady's treatment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you, if you, if you're a hypersexual and you, and you, you know, uh, um, can go any direction at any time. Stop asking for loyalty and, 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 and stability and faithfulness because you're all over the place. But these ladies want, you know, a husband while they're, you know, how can I do this? They want the Sierra's prayer and they out here half naked with their husband, like the picture of Sierra and Russell Wilson now, when it's like, you didn't have to do that. that that's just doing too much. You got kids at home. Your kids got to see this. Your kids' friends got going to see this in school and stuff. You know, you it's at the point where y'all really don't care. And yeah, of course, guys look and it's attractive, but it's not about the guys. It's about, you know, more so the culture, the 304 culture became so prevalent, y'all don't care of what y'all put y'all children through 
at all. Y'all don't care what y'all put your parents through at all. Because now you're seeing people's parents have a, you know, it's a culture shock because you're seeing people's parents ha seeing their daughter as a grown woman or, you know, and realizing you enabled her to be a thought. You, 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 you thought that she was telling you the truth when she wasn't. You get what I'm saying? You thought you had her back because she was a good, upstanding person. But now you're saying and you're like, well, how does this get back to me? Like, like, how how does your escapades and and and, and your, your your thirst for for you know attention or DNA you know D and attention how does it get back to the family? Why do your aunts and uncles know how you getting down like this? Why how come you can't rein that in? And then the kids gotta you know speak up for the mom, for mom. I forget the lady's name. Um, was it, I think it was Amber Rose, when she was telling her son, you know, about OnlyFans and mothers got to do whatever they got to do to, you know, to take care of their kids. You know, it doesn't, it sounds, it sounds, you know, a kid to take that at first and say, okay, okay, but, but as they get older, they're going to, they're going to say to themselves, you know, selling sex is not a necessity to feed the kids. That's something you, you, you want it to do. So now you at this point where, you know, people looking at it and they're like, look, man, we got a problem. Because now this is normal. You know, to the point where women in their 60s are, are cutting up. Women in their 50s are cutting up. Women in their 40s are cutting up. Women in their 30s are cutting up. You know, you see the ladies in their 20s are cutting up. And then, and then everybody's having these kind of mental breakdowns because they everybody wants to be, wants to, present as a 304 but then you know want to fall back or i'm a good upstanding you know wife material lady and it's like no you know you're you are you a bottom <laughs> oh boy i mean you're a bottom b for a pimp material you're not really a wife yo so since the culture is so normal you know since it got that way because y'all don't have a problem with it y'all don't have a problem you know half naked in here twerking here, you know, on video, you know, swearing you like men, but, you know, really being a uh, lesbian-esque or bi, whatever you want to call it, like open for threesomes and foursomes and this, that, and the third. Y'all don't mind being manipulative for money. Y'all don't mind doing all this kind of stuff. And since it's all quote-unquote empowering, now it became a norm, but everybody doesn't want to deal with that. You know, that's just my opinion. I, I think I'm going too far, but, you know, as far as long on the, on the, on the video. So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you. <laughs>